we're going to read a story called Is Your Mama a Llama? This book was written by Deborah Guarino, and the pictures were drawn by St Stephen Kellogg. Is your mama a llama? What do you think this book is all about? Maybe, let's look at our pictures. We have a baby animal here. I believe this is our llama that we're hearing in our title, a baby llama. And look at this, we have a baby owl and some owls up here. So maybe we're going to be finding out who these baby animals belong to. Let's find out. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Dave. No, she is not, is the answer Dave gave. So this is our friend, this is our llama. And she's asking her friend, Dave, is your mama a llama? Does Dave look like a llama? No. What is Dave? She hangs by her feet and she lives in a cave. I do not believe that's how llamas behave. What is she? Oh, I said, you are right about that. I think that your mama sounds more like a, what is she? A bat. Dave's mama is a bat. They hang by their feet and they live in the caves. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Fred. No, she is not, is what Freddie said. So here's our, fr our friend Fred. Let's find out what he is. She has a long neck and white feathers and wings. I don't think a llama has all of those things. Oh, I said, you don't need to go on. I think that your mama must be a... What do you think his mom is? Has white feathers and wings. It's a swan. Fred's mom is a swan. Look at that pretty long neck there with the white feathers and wings. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Jane. No, she is not. Jane politely explained. So here's the friend Jane. Is Jane a llama? No. So what is Jane? She grazes on grass and she likes to say moo. I don't think that is what a llama would do. Oh, I said. I understand now. I think that your mama must be a... What is her mama? She grazes on grass and she says, moo. Her mama must be a cow. Look at that. We have our cows here. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Clyde. No, she is not, is how Clyde replied. Look at this. This is her friend Clyde. What do you think Clyde is? Let's find out. She's got flippers and whiskers and eats fish all day. I do not think llamas act quite in that way. Oh, I said, I'm beginning to feel that your mama must really be a, what do you think she is? She has flippers, just like this one here. 
and whiskers just like a cat would have. And she eats fish from the ocean. What is it? It's a seal. And look, this mama seal brought her baby a fish. She's feeding him fish. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Rhonda. No, she is not, is how Rhonda responded. Let's see, this must be Rhonda. I wonder what Rhonda is. Let's find out. She's got big hind legs and a pocket for me. So I don't think a llama is what she could be. Oh, I said, that is certainly true. I think that your mama's a, what could her mama be? She has big hind legs and she has a pocket that she can fit in. It's a kangaroo. Her mama is a kangaroo. Do you see the pocket right there that she can fit into? Very cool. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Lynn. Ooh, what do you think? Oh, Lloyd, don't be silly, Lynn said with a grin. My mama has big ears, long lashes, and fur. And you, of all people, should know about her. What do you think? Do you think Lynn is a llama? Do you think her mama's a llama? Does she look like our friend Lloyd here? I think they look pretty similar. Our mamas belong to the same herd and you know all about llamas because you are one too. Yes, you are right, I said to my friend. My mama's a llama. And this is the end. Look at that. Our llamas are going to sleep now. The end. Thank you so much for listening to this story. I hope you had fun finding out all about our different mama animals and how they look and what they do. I'll see you next time. Bye.